When I was growing up, I lived far away from my grandparents, so much so that as a kid I nicknamed them Nani and Papi Far Away. But when I turned 13, my mother decided it was time I got to know them better. And as a 13-year-old teenager, I wanted to be by the pool with my friends during the summer, not in some small cramped apartment watching The Price is Right with my grandparents. But I went, I didn't really have a choice. And that summer and all those that followed, I got to know my grandparents in a way that I think a lot of people don't get the opportunity to. When I was there, I would be in the kitchen with my nanny as she would teach me her Italian recipes. My favorite was always her spaghetti and homemade Italian meatballs with her own sauce. It would smell so good with the spices and the oregano, my mouth would water. And the wait was always worth it when I was finally able to sit down and just dig in. When I wasn't in the kitchen with my nanny, I would sit on the couch next to my pap and listen to him tell stories about his life. He would just has this certain special way of telling a story. His throat would deepen, his, his lips would curl into a smile, and he would just start talking with his hands. He would be like, Amanda, you're really going to like this story. I felt like I got so much from him, more than what I would have learned in school. I got to hear how he lived during the Great Depression, his battle with liver cancer, the crazy dates he would take my grandma on, some of them included a lot of dancing if he had the extra money, and how he was finally able to open up his own bakery that he loved. I remember my favorite was always when he would tell me that at the end of each night when he closed the bakery, he would go to the firehouse downtown and give all the firemen the extra donuts and anything he had and just gave it to them. Every night he would do that. And my pap would always tell me that even though you had trouble in your life, that sometimes life's biggest problems can turn into the biggest blessings. And I always got so much from him, his stories. In 2008, sadly, he got sick and then I couldn't go down for my summer trip like I always did. And it was hard, but my grandparents promised me the following year we would continue. However, we weren't able to. He ended up getting sick and his trips to the hospital became more frequent. And two years later, I walked into the hospital to tell him goodbye before he left for hospice. The last time I talked to him, I went in there and said goodbye and told him I loved him and tried to hide my tears. And he just smiled and said, Amanda, I love you and I'll always be with you. And that was a really hard time. But to this day, every time my pap would end the story, he would always say, Amanda, have faith that everything will work out. And as I continue to grow in life, I still hold those words close to me.